Hey everyone, today I've got your Darkest Hour movie review. Britain appoints a new prime minister to choose to stand up against evil. Will he prevail or give in? So as far as the story goes, Joe Wright directs this film that has a lot of story behind it when it's all about Winston Churchill who had a rough start uh, turning into this leader of the people and they should listen to him, especially during the events of World War II. Now, this period drama was definitely a good fit since Joe Wright had previously done uh, work on Anna Karenina and Pride and Prejudice. And while this film contains references to yet another Oscar film nominated this year whose events uh, coincide with this film, Dunkirk, it was very intriguing to find out what was at stake and the steps that were being taken to get information out there to eventually address the people of Britain. Now, I haven't uh, known too much about Winston Churchill and you know I only learned you know a little bit from watching The Crown. I don't know if you guys watch that show on Netflix but he was definitely this central figure who showed that there are conflicts to being on the right side of the aisle and like doing the right thing and he also had, you know, some of his own uh, issues in his either, you know, personal life and didn't really, uh, you know, not everybody was aware of certain things going on. Now, as far as the casting goes, you've got Gary Oldman, who I think is one of my favorite actors of all time because I have high hopes for him winning his first Oscar for this portrayal uh, as Winston Churchill. Uh, because, I mean, if you are familiar with his work, you know that he definitely uh, gives it his all and camouflages into uh, his roles. And this one is definitely no exception because he shows off his charismatic, dramatic, emotional, and even comical side uh, to Winston Churchill. So he definitely had a lot of powerful scenes that I... Uh, thought really stood out especially this one scene where he's on the train and he's talking to all these people and I thought it was just pretty awesome because hey you know if you see a public figure or some kind of celebrity uh, mingling with the commoners so to speak and it just seems really crazy that that would happen because hey they're li they're regular people just like us right and especially during this time period i thought that was very cool to see that this movie also has a great supporting cast kristen S scott thomas who plays his wife and uh, i like uh you know what she brings to the role and the film as a whole you've even got lily james who we actually she's one of the first characters that we see in the film and she's this typist and she's typing out everything she uh, is told by Churchill to say. Ben Mendelsohn, who I feel like has been doing pretty well in films this year, and uh, I also liked his role in this movie as well. So the things that I liked about this movie was right off the bat cinematography. Uh, you know, it seems kind of odd for a movie like this to uh, even uh, feel like one of the first things you notice is the cinematography, but I just love the way that this uh, the filming style and the filmmaking in general. I love the production design and just seeing this period piece of a film and I was moved by the film's score uh, so uh, I just really enjoyed hearing that. But unfortunately the things that I didn't really like about this film was that while the majority of the film kept me interested there were some scenes that uh, seemed to drag on and it got really slow at times mostly in the beginning of the film it was kind of like that and then uh, it fizzled out in the middle to the film and then the ending just made it better so uh, overall I would say that Darkest Hour is still a pretty good film and one that 
you know, I'm glad that I saw because it's sort of, uh, you, you get to know more about this guy and, uh, I would highly recommend seeing this movie, whether or not you're, you know, into this kind of stuff, you might like it more if you are, but I still think it is a movie worth seeing. So I would give this four and a half hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Darkest Hour. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Chill Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.